Hi, in the previous tutorial we've changed, um, we've, we went into detail about tweaking, but um, in this tutorial we're just gonna quickly change some some um, colors. Um, before I do that, let's get back to the config and then tell him that we want to have again the normal conky status bar because this is the uh, normal bar because this is the conky that you're looking at so this bar at the bottom with all these colors it's nice it's great but um, let's for the tutorial sake it's better to go to for instance this one save and reload so a neutral one a more neutral one and now we can uh, try out these color setups that's the only thing i want to do in this tutorial so the arch linux blue if we double click it you'll see that it's uh, all about coding and these are the codes that are in there and what we have here is other codes so our proper our own config folder has some um, other different definitions of colors uh, by the way if you're watching this and didn't uh, you missed the previous tutorial we've added a package called pigments which shows your colors that's why atom works this way now, before I make any changes, may I give a good advice? Control C, Control V. Make a copy. It's there if you want to, if you need it. Okay. So first a copy, and then, then you go to this um, specific coloring that we have here, and we're gonna copy paste. And that's all we do. We copy paste. So we check out what code there is, what code here is. So if I start here and there, then console V, save, everything should be blue if I press super shift reload. And here you have a completely different look. Well, completely different. It's just a bar here, down here, that's bluish. And what we could do, and we have already uh, blue and blue icons but we have a specific blue kind of icon which is the one with slightly flexible so this one if we apply that then everything is really getting blue and if we press alt f3 all icons are just blue and then we're going into the a blue period let's say so that's one thing that's the blue look okay where are the others the others are here there's a new mix orange Meaning, this is the code for new mix orange. Control C, back to the config. Rather than, have, rather than having this blue thing, Control V. We're gonna have Control Save and reload it. And we have here everything now in orange. When we click on things, it's gonna be orange. So we definitely need to change our icons to, for instance, new mix circle light. Apply, and everything is now orange and I think our wallpaper is orange as well how wonderful is that so that's number two and then the combustion team I think we skipped that one I'm gonna change the code because I see it's still a long i3 config and the only thing you need is the one from here the colors that's the only thing we actually require so control C and then back in here control v wait for it and it's a softer orange it's not the same orange at all and then reload and it's as you can see it has a tight slightly different kind of orange and i do think that's because i really like the one where is she it's that one that I really like and then it's more that kind of color that I combined with it so it's all in the same hexadecimal color so this is just a tutorial to show you guys you can make uh, these elements you can change these elements to the colors you like and you know the, the program to find out colors it's cheapic that's my number one tool to work with and um, you figure out what colors you like and then copy paste hexadecimal things or go online there are lots of 
color palettes, websites online to figure out what hexadecimal color you want for the border, the background, and so on. All right, enjoy. One last thing maybe, I ended uh, with that as well last time in another tutorial. Um, I3 is useful everywhere. I use I3 on Antergos, Arch Labs, Arch Linux, Linux Mint, Solus, and Arch Merge, of course. So I3 just moves with you to all different distros and it's still the same. Meaning, any question you have on i3, you can just easily look at these um, tutorials because they'll work everywhere. So, um, do check them out. Maybe there are things you say, I want to know this right now, how to change the size of the gaps between the windows in i3. It's there, it's explained. It doesn't matter if it's Solus or if it's uh, Arteticals or Arch Linux, it doesn't matter. It's the same i3. So, Enjoy i3, make some more beautiful coloring uh, schemes here and then uh, maybe supply them to us via GitHub, why not? Cheers!